The job Scott Drew has done in rebuilding the Baylor men's basketball program has been praised time and time again. But this year, within 12 months of winning the program's first national championship, that praise turned into perspective. In fact, two different perspectives of one beloved team. Sports director Curtis Quillen has the journey that's now story bound. Coach Drew and Baylor complete college basketball's greatest rebound and rebuild with a championship. It's a story bound for Hollywood. <laughs> I'm not kidding. That was or for the shelves the next time you walk into a bookstore. He kept talking about how well, we were going to build something really special for the future. And looking back on it now, I think, you know, we, we see it. Uh, but at the time, we couldn't. What was your name? Matt Saman was a guard on Baylor's basketball teams from 2000 until 2004. When he left the Farrell Center for the final time, he held the record for the most games played wearing a Baylor uniform. I was a part of Coach Bliss's first recruiting class. So he came into to Baylor with a lot of, uh, there's a lot of excitement about his ability to rebuild a program and to, and to take it from nothing to something and, and to be a part of his plan for that was pretty cool. It's fun to watch Baylor football now. Saman was at Baylor in 2003 when all of the work the Bears put into building their basketball program came crashing down in front of them in scandal, a murder, a cover-up, and lots of collateral damage. For a long time, we didn't know, you know, what was what had happened to Patrick. If he was he okay, and 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 was he just going to pop up somewhere, you know, and and. And so we found out that what happened between him and, and Dottie and and that was just I mean, that's the biggest tragedy in the whole thing is the loss of Patrick. Uh, and then you, to have a play for a coaching staff that almost three years that you love and that you really trust and to find out that they're they've been doing a lot of things wrong right in front of you and you didn't know. Yeah, that, I felt a little naive in that. That was difficult. Saman's book, The Leftovers, hit bookstore shelves recently, sharing the story of the players left behind amidst one of college sports' darkest scandals, left behind to help a young Scott Drew clean up the mess. Recruiting wise, uh, they just they just remember Waco for elite eights, uh, number one seeding, um, a lot of wins, uh, and. You guys only won four games one year. You didn't have a non-conference schedule. So uh, that that was, I mean, the people we're recruiting now weren't even born when uh, uh, we, we began here. 18 years after he first arrived, Scott Drew's dream comes true. Drew had finally finished what was arguably the biggest turnaround in college basketball history. Just 15 years after winning four games in a season without a single non-conference game, leading Thank you. to his own hardbound story, the road to joy. For me personally, uh, it, it was it was the perfect time uh, to just share what, what God's done with our program and acknowledge all the uh, players and uh, uh, athletic uh, um, staff members, uh, administration, um, athletic directors, everyone that's been a part of it. Two perspectives on a singular journey. Reading the book, I actually, uh, uh, you always wish you'd done more to help your student athletes and um, the, the struggles that they went through. This was before mental health uh, really uh, reached the point of awareness and where we hired staff to help. It's just a great example of what a group of guys that truly believe in each other and have each other's back, what what you can do. Because, I mean, we beat a and twice. We beat Iowa State. We were up 14 at Oklahoma when Kelvin Sampson was there, you know, at halftime. Two perspectives on a season of trials, tribulations, and goodbyes. I played with 39 different teammates in four years. So a lot of dudes in and out of the door, and I, you know, was able to remain. A journey out of a dark time that was destined I like it. to be story back. The, the Baylor uh, story is a great story. It, it stands for a lot more than just a, a game on the court. Oh, that's incredible. That was Curtis Quillen reporting. We'll be right back.